our golf series, we decided to produce a few videos for our golf classes at the College of DuPage to help our students learn a little bit more about golf and to improve their skills. My name is Nancy O'Sullivan. And my name is Don Kloss. And we're golf instructors at College of DuPage, like Nancy said, and we've been doing this for years. In this video, we're going to be talking about the pitch shot. One question we get quite often is what is the difference between the chip and the pitch? Don, could you kind of tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. People are confused about chipping and pitching. The chip is when you're near the green at the fringe or the apron and you hit it, you keep it low and it runs. You, hit, you land on the green and it runs toward your pin. Or the pitch shot, what you're trying to do there is get more height so it runs less. So the chip is a you keep it lower and it runs more where a pitch you have higher arc and it doesn't roll as much. You need both shots to be a good golfer. In this video we're going to go over the techniques of doing a pitch shot. Uh, should we go ahead and get started? I think that'd be a great idea. All right. With a pitch shot your goal is to get the ball up in the air and land it on the green without much roll. Let's go over the technique of the pitch shot. There are some similarities between the chip and the pitch technique. Some of these include, they both have the same grip as a full swing, but in both the chip and the pitch shot, you will want to choke down on the club and also put your hands ahead of the ball. Another similarity is that your feet are in an open stance and closer together than a regular swing. Now let's go over the differences in the two shots. First of all, there is a weight transfer on the pitch shot. You will want to go from the back foot to the front foot as you hit. There is also a full hip turn, or as we like to call it, a belt buckle finish. The ball placement is in the middle of your stance, and depending on how far you are from the green, you will want to take your club back a bit further than a chip shot. It will look more like a 9 o'clock swing versus the 7 o'clock swing used in the chip shot. Some common problems that might occur in the pitch shot include being too wristy, which is very difficult to control the ball, or falling backwards and stepping back on your back foot. Another common problem is stopping the club or not following through on the ball. So let's review the proper technique for the pitch shot. 